Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another mini Class A motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. And I'm about to shoot one of my personal favorite small motorhomes, and that is a Safari Trek. Guys, these things are just such high-quality, well-built little motorhomes, and um, I don't get in very often. I get maybe one, two of these in a year at best. And this one right here, guys, just got in. It came out of uh, South Georgia. This is a nice little motorhome. It is a 2002 Safari Trek 2430, the smallest one they build. Beautiful condition, guys. It has 66,000 miles built on the Chevrolet chassis or the workhorse chassis. First year, the 8.1 liter uh, Vortec in the Trek. 340 horsepower. This little thing will get up and go on the highway. 66,000 miles, got a 4KW Onan gasoline generator with just a little over 200 hours on it. Runs great. I've got the generator running, motor running. Uh, very nice little motorhome, guys. Uh, in fact, these things, for those of you who are not familiar with them, are built by Monaco Coach Corporation. These things, they built them up to about 2005 or so. Uh, from about 1995 to 2005 and it's just these things just priced themselves out of the market They were just so expensive when they were new Compared to other similar units, but you got what you paid for you got quality look at the siding on this guys This is not fiberglass. This is actually uh, Aluminum Smooth aluminum with the stripes on it. So it doesn't fade. It doesn't delaminate like fiberglass does it's got the aluminum roof Got the hitch on the back with a 5,000 pound tow capacity. Even the pictures on the back, every one of these are different, guys. Every Safari Trek has got a, they, they commissioned an artist. This is a hand-painted mural and every one's unique. There are no two of them are exactly the same. And they're all, of course, uh, got the animal theme going on. Hope that wind don't sound too bad. Got a six gallon DSI water heater. Got the window awning, the door awning. Some up, nice upgrades the previous owners have made to this unit. They've added a four camera system, which may be a little overboard for a 26 foot motor home. It is 25 feet, 10 inches long. But uh, hey, I guess better safer, better safe than sorry, right? So it's got the side cameras, you got the rear camera. You know, if I just wanted to pick it to death, uh, a little bit of clear coat right there above the windshield. But again, guys, this is the 2002 model. It's almost 20 years old. You got to expect little things like that. It's not going to be perfect because perfect this thing would be 100,000 plus. Got the uh, good looking tires on it. Uh, we just drove it up from South Georgia, three or four hundred miles. It's got the power step. Let's look inside. And guys, if you do buy this and check in some of the clubs they have for these safari treks, I mean, these things, uh, they have meetings and rallies and really cool things that people do with these. Um, like I said, they're, they're kind of like an Airstream are born free they just kind of have a almost a very cult-like following and i've got the generator running i've got the roof air on it's nice and cold this unit has you know most of them come with two chairs across from a sleeper sofa this one has the optional chase lounge directly across from the sleeper sofa let's look up here you know great visibility 66,512 miles. Uh, Motorhome runs great, drives great. You can see the uh, camera system, and you can change that display if you just want one camera, all of them, or not as many of them. Got a nice little uh, modern Pioneer stereo. Uh, tilt cruise. Carpet looks great. Uh, dash looks good. Got a dash camera, too, so. Got a manual point satellite dish. Carpeted headliner, flat screen TV, somebody's added to it. Uh, looks like they upgraded the lights. 
Now, both of these sofas do not make beds. This one right here makes a double bed. This one right here is just a chaise lounge that can basically sleep one. And you're probably wondering, where's the bed? Well, that's the beauty of these tricks. So this is what made them unique. Sorry about that, guys. My camera didn't like something I said it cut off. But like I was saying, five or six feet of it is dedicated to the bedroom. So you only get 19, 18, 19, and then you got three or four or five feet in the cab area, so you only get about 12, 13 feet of actual living space, kitchen, living room, bathroom, which isn't much at all. Well, thanks to this, uh, to the one thing that's the calling card of the Safari Trek is called the Magic Bed. Your bedroom, which you only use seven or eight hours a day in a 24 hour period, is just a push of a button away and it's out of the way during the daytime. See, this right here is your bed. You've got what they call a queen magic bed. And you've got four safety pins, and guys, always put those pins on before you drive down the road, because this bed is several hundred pounds. It is heavy. Um, you've got a button right here you push, and we'll show you how to do this in person. But basically, guys, you want to make sure your front seats are pushed forward a little bit, which they're not, so I'm not going to bring it all the way down. But you push this button, and you have a queen bed that lowers down from the ceiling. And um, again, guys, I can't put it down all the way. We'll put it about right there. And you can see, guys, you got a queen bed. Headliner looks great up top. You know, these are aluminum roofs, so not much leak worries right there. Um, I mean, no, no roof is leak proof, but you know, aluminum's a whole lot less likely in, in fiberglass, a lot less likely to leak and less maintenance in a rubber roof. Uh, of course, you know, these things right here were designed with no cost spared. I mean, these things were, weren't sold to save people to save money on. These were the people who wanted the ultimate in a small class A motorhome, which back in 2002, there wasn't many small class A motorhomes under 30 feet. But this is definitely one of the best ones. And of course, you just push a button, it goes up. So, so, so you've got the queen bed, or if you don't want to use that magic bed, you have the sleeper sofa that'll make up basically a full size bed. And then you got, you can sleep one across it on the chase lounge. And you can see no, no headliners, hand, headliners taken down bed back behind underneath the bed. You know, some nice upgrades. They've upgraded the solar system and they put in a bigger panel on the roof. You put, they put in, the previous owners have put in a nice charge controller. Got a built in thousand watt inverter, um, 223 hours on the generator running right now. Table and chairs. I mean, guys, these are pretty much couples motor homes. They're not really designed for families, but you can sleep up to three people in here. And theoretically, you could sleep two on the sleeper sofa, two up top and one down there if you didn't bring the bed all the way down. And those beds have a 500 pound weight limit. So if you were in a pinch and, and people didn't mind sleeping underneath you, you could sleep five in here if you wanted to. Got the Corian countertops, they look great. Um, you've got the grill to convection oven. This is a microwave convection oven. You've got a three burner stove top that's been upgraded. Uh, solid wood cabinets, guys. These are Monaco's, Safari's. Very, uh, very nice hardwood cabinet. This is the same, this is not like your typical RV grade cabinets. These are the same grade you'd put in your own home. Solid wood cabinet. They have taken the carpet out and put a nice vinyl floor in here that looks like hardwood, but they did a really good job putting it in. Got ice cold ducted roof air. In fact, I got my thermometer out. And you can see, guys, we're blowing 40s. And it's about a low 40s, and it's about 85 degrees outside right now. Of course, you have your uh, battery monitor, and that turns your inverter on and off step to the back and this is what's really cool when's the last time you've seen a 26 foot motorhome with a bathroom this big of course got the nice etched glass front shower 
Corian countertops, big closet area. Got a little hidden compartment down here if you need it. Some shelves that somebody's added. So it's this is shoe rack. Nice. And this, of course, is a price range that you can't hardly find right now. And that's a nice, clean motor home with low miles for under 30 grand. But this is definitely one of them. Got a sliding door here for privacy. Refrigerator I haven't had on long enough to get the temperature, of course. But I can feel it starting to work in the freezer compartment. You can see that it's on. So all that's good. Um... And that's about an eight cubic foot. That's definitely a bigger refrigerator for a small motor home. So guys, this is a nice unit. It really is hard to find. This thing probably won't make it the next day or two, if even that. I mean, everything's selling right now, guys. Everything. Especially this price range. You just can't find it. In fact, I got some people waiting on it now to look at it. Um, 66,000 miles includes our world famous four page inspection process performed after purchase for 29.9 haggle free firm I'm not gonna take a penny less for it if you want the inspection we get a full orientation you get 21 nights of free camping up to seven nights at a time at select RV resorts nationwide to be used in a 12 month period and all that for 29.9 with no added fees plus applicable sales tax easy simple and done guys and this is something somebody can easily justify traveling anywhere in the United States to buy. You just don't see these things hit the market every day, especially this nice a condition. $29.9 is a price. If you want it, let us know. Our phone number is 706-965-7929. Give us a call if you're interested. Call before coming to look to verify availability. Make sure to smash me a thumbs up. Make sure that you uh, um, comment share on social media any interaction to give my channel i really appreciate it subscribe to it please you never know from one day to the next what i'm going to shoot and guys i'm like everybody else the inventory i'm selling three for every one i can buy so inventory is getting scarcer and it is scarcer more now than it was a year ago so it's getting harder and harder to find nice units like this but we're doing the best we can guys thank you for watching i really appreciate it guys uh, if you got any questions Call us, 706-965-7929. We may have some limited financing available. Of course, like any older RV, you're probably going to have to have a significant amount down for well-qualified customers only um, to buy this if you want to finance it. You know, it's kind of weird, but in many ways, it's easier to finance a newer, more expensive model than it is an older one. But, hey, you know, I highly suspect whoever buys this thing's going to pay cash for it anyway. Um, we got a Safari Trek 2002 2430, smallest one they build. Come get it while it lasts. Thank you again for watching. Like I said, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification button. Let us know if you got any questions. Our email sales at parkwayrvcenter.com, but I highly recommend calling for faster service. Because by that email sitting in the inbox, somebody else could have called, left it a credit card, deposit on it, it's off the market while your email sitting unread. So it's always best if you're a serious shopper to call or visit us, 5568 Battlefield Parkway, beautiful Ringo, Georgia. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate it, guys. And uh, look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.